broken. It's beyond repair. I did the worst thing possible. I wasn't paying attention to this cone being on the outside of the fender. Um, we'll have to shut down this channel and rename it to what not to do. and this is the road to power. Welcome guys to another episode of Road to Power. I'm Seth Strauss. What did we do since you last saw the car? So I installed, um, I pulled in the cables from the back to the front for the battery relocation and I tried to fit the cooler as well as um, getting all the cables done and all the connectors up and then from some super wood I cut the backboard where I'll mount the battery in the boot I was trying to get this radiator or front cone fitted and um, I broke my car it's broken it's beyond repair I did the worst thing possible I wasn't paying attention to this cone being on the outside of the fender. Um, we'll have to shut down this channel and rename it to what not to do. Okay, let me show you. Here's where it's broken. It's beyond repair. Ah. Sorry. Scratch my paint job. Scratch my paint job. <laughs> R32 has that slim line spare wheel and this is a race car and I don't need a spare wheel or back seats I decided to make a board where I mount the back battery and uh, I grabbed this from a Golf 4 it's a power distribution so you can find these at any scrapyard for cheap I'm running to the back 225 mil power cables and then I have my grounding cables so this will be mounted on the board and the board will be secured the battery will be secured to the board and I have a fire extinguisher just in case um, just in case I do a really good job I thought, I thought chasing us the millions Basically, what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna get the car started up. Um, I'm heavily excited. What's needed to to get the car started is to fill up the coolant, get the fans connected, check the vitals like the oil and the battery voltage. So what I'm basically doing now is I'm getting the front onto the car, um, tightening this up and um, then we're going to uh, start with the coolant reservoir which i cleaned earlier get that up fill the system with coolant get the fans connected it's about eight now hopefully by 10 we'll have it burning like a kitten the sad part about the um, about the car is uh, since it's my project car i bought it and it was in an accident previously so everything's not lining up 100% as it as it should be. So I have it hooked up on that side. 
and I will now try and align it on this side to get this bolt in and tighten it. Now I just gotta check, gotta see, gotta see we how will I get to nudge this to the rear. Um, please, do not, this is not an educational channel, this is, this is for us guys who like DIY, who like to Google and uh it's often plan a map stand there Shinji. yeah so it's not i'm not a Volkswagen agent and i'm sure there are a few watching thinking how why are you doing it like that do it like this it's easier etc etc voila but uh, as you can see, we're working from a garage, a private establishment, and uh, we're making it work. That's 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 the aim of the game. Working with what we have and uh, seeing how we can uh, make a plan to get this. This foot in here. So yeah, I want to now see if I can get something in here, just to to wedge it, wedge the side a bit closer, so that the bolt can align with the with the nut at the back. that we have for the battery just gonna spray it have it look better inside the car machinery grey let's see how it looks junction over here so we need to get this as a new cable from the starter so this one I'll first leave here till I get the cable tomorrow and add that one in so earthing or grounding of the car is very important because uh, it can cause a lot of 
can cause a lot of problems if you have if if your potential what we call it in technical terms your potential is floating and that means if you have um, if you have voltages floating that means if you have sensors and stuff like that that are that are giving a varied signal varied signal means not a one or a zero but something between 12 and zero volts so let's say for example the best example i can give about that is your throttle as a simple case scenario uh, your throttle let's say wide open wide open would be flat foot we call it a wt for example would be 12 volt halfway would be 6 volt and all the way off would be 0 volt this is just an example your potential is not based as 0 now in actual fact your foot is off the throttle but your car's computer box is reading a voltage of 3 so your engine might be revving with your foot off the throttle and this is what I mean by having proper grounding so in my attempt to have proper grounding I used the previous grounding points of the car but in addition I have a ground cable or a negative pole of the battery um, running to the front just to ensure that the potential is really um, really zero volts sorry zero so what is really so yes uh. not the neatest job in the world but uh, we'll get there we've got these two this is, yeah, these three and then we've got this this is gonna run to the two relays that we want to use so this will be one switch in front and this would be one switch so i'm gonna switch the, the coil of the relays that that i will be having uh will be shown you shortly so one coil would be general purpose undesignated as of yet and the other one would be switching this now this switch I put in, this is a switch parallel to the fan, um, what we call a radiator fan switch. Now what the radiator fan switch does, it's a contact that is thermal based. So your car is heating up, up to about, uh, let's say 90 degrees. This contact will close and once it closes, it will send your car the signal to start its fans and the fans are controlled by a fan relay so I'm no, no longer going to use this switch I'm going to have a different type of switch on the inside so I'm just going to cut this wire here yeah? so this is going to simulate my radiator fan switch so but now since I've ran these cables to the front of the car as you can see they are not going to carry the current that uh, the radiator relay needs so I'm gonna use a relay so these two are gonna switch a relay which I'm just gonna place here in the front and um, yeah then we're gonna check whether the fans come on once we put the switch in the front of the car in the cabin you know,